The pandemic gave restaurant workers a chance to reinvent themselves, choosing to leave for what they believe are better situations. Following pandemic shutdowns when workers have been forced into overdrive, coronavirus exposing industry flaws. Works restaurant workers are considered essential workers, but we're not treated like essential workers. There's definitely issues with wages. I think there's issues with child care. I think there's issues with um, benefits, health insurance. Where you're having to work like 50 plus hours a week and it's just, it's still not enough to pay your bills and to be able to take care of your family. Many restaurant workers left the industry over the past year, taking jobs in sectors such as the construction business with higher pay and better hours. People move to things like warehouse jobs, which offer more regular schedules, more pay and health care. Medical marijuana. It's an industry that's growing and it's attracting workers from a particular sector of the economy. I've seen a lot of uh, cooks, cocktail servers, a lot of people from the restaurant industry coming here and I just I think it's a quality of life issue. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't rather work in the weed industry? It's the most chill job in the world. Customers are always relaxed. Nobody's in a hurry. The only bad thing about the job is the drug test. You know, that's where they give you a bag of edibles and you gotta eat it all right there. I failed that like three times. But people, it makes complete sense that restaurant workers are looking for better jobs, right? Because these are tough jobs. They're on their feet all day. They take care of everyone. They pretend not to hear when you guys are breaking up at the table. And after all of that, they have to rely on tips. I mean, you know a job isn't paying enough when every meal ends with a mini GoFundMe. And aside from giving workers the opportunity to look for jobs that they can actually live on, these unemployment benefits are also giving them leverage to use against their former employers. And it seems like it might actually be working. Restaurant and fast food chains are all ramping up hiring and beefing up employee benefits to attract workers. Starbucks, Olive Garden, announcing new benefits or increased pay in just the last few months. McDonald's increasing its minimum wage. Company-owned restaurants will now pay workers between 11 and $17 an hour, depending on location. McDonald's hoping to attract 10,000 new employees. Whataburger is adding 50,000 workers, adding emergency pay and increasing a 401k matching. Taco Bell is giving its store managers paid family leave. Chipotle is increasing increasing its wages to an average of $15 per hour. Other Chipotle benefits include mental health care, 401k, and debt-free college. Restaurants trying to bring workers back, sometimes offering cash incentives. Applebee's taking a rather different approach. You fill out an application to Applebee's and you get a free appetizer. Damn. Applebee's is confident in their onion rings. Yeah, they're out there like, forget the 401k, guys. Just have them eat these bad boys. Yeah, get ready to meet your new co-workers, everybody. <laughs> equal rights, more like equal spice. But the point is, many restaurants are getting workers back by raising wages and offering benefits. So I guess it turns out that when they were saying nobody wants to work, what they actually meant was nobody wants to work for the starvation wages that we were willing to pay them. And apparently, they were able to afford this the whole time. It just took some pressure from the workers to force their hand. And look, I know that some restaurants can only afford to pay their workers so much, but I honestly believe that that's your responsibility as a business owner to figure it out. Like if you need more revenue, I don't know, try adding a side of guac to the menu. That's one thing I've learned in America is you can charge whatever you want and customers will pay for it if it's guac. Doesn't even matter if it makes sense for your restaurant. Just add guac. Seafood place, add a side of guac. Indian place, add a side of guac. Guac place, well, I mean, you're already boiling. You don't need advice from me, player. <laughs> the point is, if your business can only get by on the backs of workers who can't, then that's not a sustainable business because everyone deserves a job that lets them afford the necessities of life, housing, healthcare, and at least one Netflix.